Welcome everybody to a new presentation and in today's presentation we are going to talk about the slope technique or slope rule which is an abbreviation for a short, a same lingual opposite buckle. Uh, into oral radiographs as you know they fail to show the depth of structures uh, that is the buccolingual, buccopalatal, or mediolateral position of structures, but uh, they are good in showing the uh, me, uh, mesodistal and the uh, superior inferior uh, position of a given structure or a given lesion. Now, on this radiograph in the middle, which is taken for the two central incisors, you will see that there is a a shadow of a, a most likely a super a numerary tooth which is located or, uh, above the apex of the right central incisor. Uh, so the radiograph from this radiograph we can know the superior inferior position of the uh, of the structure we can know its uh, medial lateral position i mean in, in terms of uh, whether it's mesial or distal but unfortunately the two dimensional radiographs fail to show its depth where is it in the middle of the arch is it on the buccally located or it is on uh, palatally in this instance so what we do here is that we're going to take another radiograph but we're going to change the direction of the beam here the beam is taken perfectly in terms of the horizontal and the vertical angulation but we're, we're going to change and we're going to take a new sensor or a film and then we're going to keep the same vertical angulation uh, which affects the uh, whether the tooth is elongated or shortened but what we're going to do is that we're going to change the horizontal angulation we're going to change the direction from which the x-ray is coming now, if you look at the radiograph here on the left, this is the central incisor. These are the two central incisors. But in this radiograph, what we see, uh, uh, we see the lateral and the canine. It means that our beam has come from a distal direction, distal to this tooth. The, uh, how to prove this? Because we can see now the teeth which are located distal to the central incisor in the first image. So we have come here from a distal direction. It means that the X-ray has been directed so that it came from distal, more towards more from the canine tooth towards the uh, uh, the central incisor. In this radiograph, after change, changing the horizontal angulation, we will have a look on the object in question, the supernumerary tooth, and we will see its relative position, the image of the relative position, uh, to the one which is the original with the, with, the per, with the correct horizontal angulation. As you can see that the image of the object has moved more towards the distal, uh, or has moved more distally. The, uh, as it is came closer to the lateral incisor and it moved away from the mid, mid palatine suture so we came from a distal direction the image of the object has also moved distally that is in the same direction of our movement so it means that it is same so same lingual so this object is located more towards lingual or, lingual or palatal to the tooth. If you look at the radiograph here uh, for the same uh, uh, patient, for the same structure, now we came here, this is the central, this is the other left central incisor, left central lateral, left canine. So it means that we came from mesially to the central incisor. So we directed our beam mesially to the central incisor and you can see here uh, that the, uh, uh, the, 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 the structure which is the impacted or the supernumerary tooth has moved again mesially. It came closer to the uh, 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 midline. It means that this tooth has moved with the direction of our movement it means which means that the tooth 
or this supernumerary tooth same lingual it is located more towards the buccal surface of the uh, uh, sorry towards the palatal surface so it is located away from the beam now if the if the lesion does not move whether in either way of movement it means that it is located in the midline of the ridge it is located in the midline of the ridge uh, another example here this is a radiograph for the premolars the this is the uh, one five one uh, one four one five one six and one seven the eight is uh, is not present in here now we can see that there is a radio opacity which is located between the uh, 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 the two uh, molars uh, most likely it is a, a enamel peel which is located in this area uh, now we can know that this is uh, uh, located uh, uh, more uh, apical to the gingival region and we can know that it is located exactly between the, cent uh, the, the, the two uh, molars but unfortunately here we cannot know whether it is located buccally closer to the buccal bone or it is clay, uh, over to the buccal surface or it is located in the middle of the ridge or it is located back in the palatal surface so what we do is that we will take another radiograph and we will change our horizontal direction now you can see that with this radiograph we can see the coronoid process of the mandible it means that we came in from a distal direction we came from a distal direction now and then we will have a, a, a look on the uh, uh, on the object in question see here it was in between the two molars when we came from a distal direction it went distally so it moved with our uh, uh, direction of of movement it means again that it is located on the palatal surface had this lesion moved against our movement it means that if it went more mesially when we went distally it means that it is located it means that it has moved opposite to our movement then in this case it means it is located on the buccal surface so what we do here to recap is that we take one radiograph which is in question if we uh, then we will take another radiograph and then we will change our horizontal uh, angulation if the lesion moves distally that when we move distally then it means that it is uh, as, uh, uh, away from the meme that it is palatal or lingual if it moves against our movement it means that it is located on the buccal surface thank you very much